Hi, thanks for joining us. Today we're going to take you through the proper procedure for the application of sealant and torque for the various fittings that are provided on Bell & Gossett balancing valves and accessories. The first thing that we're going to want to do prior to working on this valve is we're going to want to isolate the valve itself. We'll shut the handle off and then we will want to drain the entire contents of the valve out and bring it down to a safe handling pressure and temperature. So we don't want this pressurized at all. We want it open to atmospheric pressure. We also want to make sure that the valve itself is at a reasonable safe handling temperature, which is 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, we'll want to remove the plug in question. And in this example, we'll say our half inch bypass plug is in need of repair or replacement. First thing we want to do is we want to take our Allen key fitting and our socket wrench and fully remove the plug. Make sure you hold back on the valve while turning the wrench counterclockwise. Once we've removed the half inch plug, we'll want to make sure that we clean the plug entirely using a half inch or a quarter inch wire brush, depending on what you have. We want to clean not only the threads on the plug, but also the threads inside the valve and make sure that they're completely clean. Once they're completely clean, we can now apply the new sealant. Bell & Gossett has determined that Loctite 567 offers the best thread sealing capabilities. This is what we use on our production line. Rector Seal number no. 5 is also an acceptable thread sealant for non-glycol systems. We also recommend Teflon tape. However, not all Teflon tape is the same. Please check with the tape manufacturer for proper wrap requirement for the threads based on their size. Keeping safety in mind, you should be sure to follow all the proper handling procedures recommended by the thread sealant manufacturers. In this example, we'll be using the factory preferred Loctite 567. We will want to apply a bead around the entire circumference of the threads. While we apply the Loctite, we will want to use the applicator to work in the sealant into the threads. We will now hand tighten our threads into the valve and then use our torque wrench to tighten to the proper torque. Bell & Gossett has determined the following torque values to ensure a proper drip-proof seal. Again, these values are printed in our technical bulletin, which can be found on our website, www.balancevalves.com. Once we've applied the proper torque value and removed all the excess sealant, we are now done with our procedure and can open up our ball valve and bring our valve back into service. Use the same procedure for all of the balancing valves and accessories that Bell & Gasset offers. We hope this video has helped to demonstrate the correct procedure and proper sealant and torque requirements of the various fittings that are used on Bell & Gasset balancing valves. Thanks again for joining us, and as always, for more technical information, please visit our website at www.balancevalves.com.